Nintendo Switch Sports has launched its new update 1.2.0 and it brings a new mode to play that really aligns itself with the active motion control gaming session that this game aspires to be, as well as additional pro leagues, new moves to master and a fantastic easter egg that nearly the entire community has wanted. So let's dive in and experience everything this update has. The first thing we're going to hit is that new soccer mode. This more effectively uses the leg strap and uses motion controls extremely well in my opinion. You kick with the leg strap just like in soccer shootout mode, but the running is done with your arms. You know how when you run in real life you swing your arms as well? That's the sort of movement you do to make your character dash in this game as well. The velocity of your arm movement does affect the speed slightly, so it makes for a really interesting mode, otherwise you actually do auto control. And I think the most important thing for me is that this really captures that Wii Sports spirit. You know how when we first played the original Wii Sports, it was a new sort of experience? Well, this new soccer mode actually does feel akin to that it does feel really interesting and like it's really fun dashing with your little arms and kicking with your little leggies and stuff as well I think it's really fun and yeah I think it definitely should have been in the base game but the point is it's a good part of this update and the other thing as well is that this can actually work online in the pro league which is definitely interesting however I do personally feel like you sacrifice a bit of accuracy in your shots as far as when you're kicking if you need to do a specific shot to get around people or to aim on goal you don't really have as much accuracy with this mode but you know, that, that might just be the experience I've had so far with it. While we're here, they also added a new camera mode to soccer, which is the free camera. It allows you to move the camera in standard matches with the right stick. This is great because it gives you a better kind of look around the field. You don't have to focus just on the ball and you can kind of get around the players a bit better. I personally found it a lot easier to use. You'll find this in the standard settings menu. Next, they've added stuff to volleyball. So there are two new moves in volleyball to master and they each play really well and diversify the game. So the first is the slide attack. It's performed by hitting and holding the directional stick just after you bump in volleyball. Move it in the direction of the player who is setting and then you perform your standard spike after that. This is great for catching your opponents off guard because they'll be blocking in one area and you move away so it's easier to get around it. The second move they added is the rocket serve. So this is similar to tennis. At the absolute height of your serve, hit the ball and it goes a lot faster. Simple, it just helps you catch other players off guard which is really cool. I think these add a lot of extra strategy and a little bit of extra complexity into your volleyball because it, yeah, it's not just so simple as doing one, two, three, four. You've now got to avoid slide attacks and you've got to work on your blocking a lot better. So I, yeah, I, I really dig it. I think it's a fantastic addition. The next thing they've added is Pro League updates. So if you're rank A, good news, there's more to do. You've got S and Infinity Ranks to attain. I'm not sure how many games or points you need to rank up here or exactly how Infinity Rank works, but it should be a fun time to expand your online play. And when it comes to expanding the game, well, good news, there are more cosmetics coming, of course, because that's the end game of Nintendo Switch Sports. They have added a whole bunch of new ones. So we've got new content all the way through till about October, which, uh, you know, uh, makes sense because that will be when golf comes. So there'll be adding more then and then it will repeat and repeat and repeat but the point is is that it's really cool if you want to see all of those new cosmetics the ever wonderful wipeout jack 7 actually has a full video with all of them on his channel link is in the description and probably up there in the corner right now Next, there is a slight change to bowling. If we look at the patch notes, we see this. It is now slightly harder for the pins to fall when bowling straight. It is now slightly easier for the pins to fall when bowling with a curve. I wonder if this is to stop the prevalence of the simple strike methods that we've seen, but essentially the pin physics have been altered so they're easier to knock down with hook shots and harder with a straight shot. I don't really think this was necessary. Like, I get it, it's probably gonna help with special bowling a little bit because you've gotta use a lot more curves and stuff, but it doesn't really feel like it was needed. We can also see in the patch notes that there are steps to deter bad behavior online, as well as a new icon that shows up in the bottom to show if your opponent has a dodgy internet connection or not, which is pretty good, pretty telling for you. I also wanna give a quick shout out to the fact that you can now toggle on and off whether you see people's nicknames and titles, which is fantastic because it stops all the racist and sexist crap that they've been putting on. Maybe they should put on a proper filter. Nintendo, maybe you should use a proper filter and update your filter settings to stop that anyway. But the point is, is that you can stop it, which is kind of, you know, it's good. It's family friendly. It's good. We also have friend rooms online. When playing with friends, you can select a room to set up and give it a passcode, a number of players in total, and a room ID so you can get friends together and play much easier. It's a great little bit of support for online and definitely good for content creators because you don't need to be friends with the person in order to get into the room. You still can't play Pro League with friends, but it's definitely a step in the right direction. Finally, the awesome Easter egg you may have heard about by now, I'm sure. You can fight me characters. So if you hold down the L and ZL buttons or the R and ZR buttons when you're selecting CPU difficulty in offline matches, you hear this. 
then you are granted a match with specific Mii characters. These are based off your hardest difficulty ones in previous Wii Sports titles, and of course the main one everyone's losing their minds over is Legend Matt in Chambara. There is also Tommy and Elisa in tennis, Sakura in badminton, Lucia and Yoshi in volleyball, and in soccer you have Miguel in one-on-one, -on -one, and in a four-on-four, -four, you also get Anna, Gwen, and Saburo. The really cool thing for me, though, and this may be anecdotal, is that I feel like they've actually upped the difficulty from Powerhouse. It's like an extra fourth difficulty. They genuinely feel like tougher opponents, and yes, the footage you're seeing right now is Matt absolutely handing it to me. Good lord. So that is pretty much everything that I have found in the Nintendo Switch Sports update, and I do think that this is a pretty sizable, chunky update. I think it's a good amount of content. Do I think it's going to drag people back in who have not been playing the game? I don't know. I don't know, but I definitely do like that soccer mode. I think that was fantastic. Even though it should have been there in day one, it is definitely a good addition to the roster of games. Hopefully we'll see more sports and stuff and more announcements in the fall. But yeah, fantastic. Thank you so much for watching and thanks for bearing with me. I know I wanted this video out yesterday, but I've been really sick and I've been really busy. So, you know, not been able to do that. Anyway, point is, thank you so much for watching. What is your favorite part of this update? Let me know. I will be making a bit more content on the update as well, coming very soon. Thank you to my patrons like Rain, I Love Waffles 1311 and Sick Hippie for the amazing support that they give me through Patreon. I really appreciate that as always. And yeah, check it out for yourself. Otherwise, I'm Master Trainer Peter, and I'll see you real soon.